Hi, I'm Anna. And I'm Ben. And we are Autosave. Welcome to our channel. Today, we are watching episode six of Death Note. So, last episode, Light made Ray write in the Death Note and kill every single FBI agent that was on the case in Japan looking for Kira. Twelve? 12 it i was believe around yep. 12 people he had the supervisor send an email first to all of them of all of their information and pictures i saw a non-spoiler comment remind us that this means that since ray did the writing ray doesn't go to heaven or hell if those exist in this universe which is even more depressing i didn't tell her about it yet he didn't tell me about this so oh my it's pretty messed up. I know that you're... You're making someone else... You're, like, deciding someone else's, like, eternal fate. Yeah. That's messed up. And Light knows that, too. Um, Light is incredibly smart with how he proceeded to do these things to the duh, FBI agents. Uh, Ray has a fiancé. Had a yeah. fiancé. Um, had a fiancé. <laughs> but now Ray is gone. She's a former agent. We don't know why former but we probably will learn uh we had a few theories but she oddly enough suspected that it might be somebody on the bus we know that to be light but ray was like no way come on you left that life behind yeah. and now she was asking the bus driver if he remembered anybody specifically on that bus and she wants she is i guess prognosticated that they must be close to the area or a frequent rider of this bus We'll uh, see if that goes anywhere. I'm sure it will. She seems very smart. Very smart. I was very happy to meet her after seeing her in the intro and like seeing that she was like holding like a man's body. Like obviously as soon as we met Ray, I was like, oh, shoot. Yeah. Shoot. <laughs> uh, uh, but she's definitely going to be, if anything, I feel like she's going to be harder for light to deal with than maybe even the police backed by his like it headed by his dad i agree with I you i think she's gonna be someone that he's gonna he's gonna underestimate well she okay light knows about her just, yeah but he probably doesn't think she's any type of uh worry for yeah, him any competition or i guess like fear yeah worry is the right word i i know that we know the light knows about her because she, uh he threatened ray with the knowledge of your loved one, you know? Yeah, but he was very... Light was very vague and very broad. Sorry about the cat bells. Um, <laughs> we have cats. He was very vague and broad when he brought up loved ones to Ray. And in the subtitle translation, Ray was just like, you know about her? You know, it didn't really seem... It seemed more like a got you moment. Yeah, than definitely. like... Light actually knew that there was a person, you know, yeah. that was special to him. He was kind of like getting a little bit of information out of him, triggering him to follow along with the plan. Yeah. Isn't I, that what like... This is the cat. Isn't that what uh, <laughs> psychics do is they kind of like say things that make you feel like it fits into your own life? The, uh, it is it's like uh it's like cold reading i think the terminology is for it that being said i i don't know if light knows that the fiance was more than a fiance was an ex fbi agent i don't know if what information light knows you know but uh nonetheless i'm really excited to uh get into it this you know? is z yeah like dragon ball z yeah um i'm really excited to get into it though you <laughs> yeah Z, say hi. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. We're now seeing taller kind of buildings, you know? Yeah. And L was in like a big, tall hotel. We just completely left that out of the discussion too, that we are about to, or the police are about to meet L face to face in a hotel room, right? Part of me is like, is he even actually going to be, you know, it's probably like part of me was worried that it was one of those things that they keep showing you shots like they're going to be there at the same time as him. Tricky editing. Or it's going to be the same room. 
part of me is like, he's not even going to be in the room that they're entering or I don't know. But I, I feel like he kind of needs to. I mean, he said he was going to prove to them that he was trustworthy and that he trusted them. So I think he has to show himself. I don't know what else he could give them other than showing himself that would make the police trust him. Yeah. I am Al. This is him? Hmm. He's nothing like I thought he'd be. I'm Yagami of the NPA. What? What? He looks different than when we saw him, right? Bang. Huh? If I were Kira, you'd be dead, Mr. Soichiro Yagami, chief of the NPA. What? I'm freaking out right now. Please do not give out your name so carelessly. No way to verify if this is related, but criminals whose names were never released publicly or whose names were spelled incorrectly in the media have not been targeted. Oh my god. Please turn off all your cell phones, handhelds, and any other communication devices and leave them on the table right there. He's already. What do you think we're going to be using our cell phones during this meeting to leak information? They could be bugged. But I still can't tell if he trusts us or not. He's just covering his bases, right? He's protecting all of them, I feel like, not just himself. <laughs> he can't stand it. <laughs> oh, maybe I was wrong. Maybe he just doesn't like that. I sit like that a lot. He's like a shut-in. Like, he definitely doesn't seem like he's out in public very God, often. God, <laughs> I, I, I wish I didn't love him so much. <laughs> Why not? Lots of sugar. And from now on, I'll have to ask that you stop calling me L. It's Ryuzaki now. Ryuzaki. Is that his real name or a fake kill? name? I don't know. A number of Hard to believe it'd be his real name, right? From the news? Kira is childish and he hates losing. <sighs> Just what do you mean? Well, he's gonna go off like childish, after normal people. <gasps> That's how I know. Oh! <laughs> he's using himself as an example. As we all witnessed, he didn't hesitate to kill my stand in. Now, what do you think would happen if we tried to use media restrictions to hide criminals from someone like that? If you choose to withhold the names of your worst criminals, I'll kill petty criminals or the innocent. I'm holding the whole world hostage, so who's it gonna be? Oh. Hiding criminals? You are truly evil. Might get the public behind him, too. Death of FBI agents infuriates the U.S. Nations agree to send 1,500 investigators to Japan. For Kira, this will be way beyond what he faced with the FBI. He'll start to feel cornered, and that will cause him to take some kind of drastic action. What would be that drastic action? I'm not sure. And since none of these investigators exist, Kira won't be able to kill them. Well, before we celebrate, I'll tell you the rest of my thoughts on the Kira case. What evidence do you have that he's either he's alone? he'd he'd be a hacker or he'd know somebody, right? Listen carefully to what I have to say next. On December 14th, 12 FBI investigators I'm so interested Me too. in what he's going to say. In other words, during this window of only five days, Kira became aware of the FBI's presence and obviously felt threatened. He needed to know how much control he had over his victims before he could use it against the 12 agents. Yeah. I got a hold of a file which contained all the names and faces of the FBI investigators in Japan, and I succeeded in killing each one of them. I have to make sure that no one ever finds out that I came into contact with Ray Penn. I don't the think girl. he knows about the fiance. Agreed, but I'm worried about the girl that he went on the date with. You don't think he would kill her to, like, protect It's a himself. loose end. December 19th to December 27th. I've been most active during this period. Oh, that's such a cool parallel that it they're is. both, like, working it out on paper. There's such a good, like, contrast. The legally speaking, they were innocent. Is that Kira had to manipulate these lesser criminals in order to kill those FBI agents. Kira had to be one of the people being investigated by the FBI between... <sighs> oh my god. These are files provided by the FBI, and they contain additional information... Is he gonna see Light's name as one of the people that was being investigated? During that time? No. No. Is the dad gonna get suspicious? What are that many people who had access to information from headquarters? Look at how excited they are. We investigated a small group in the first five days. I do have one question for you. Does the fact that you've shown us your face mean that you've lost? By showing my face to you now and by sacrificing the lives of 12 FBI agents, I have lost the battle. But I'm not gonna lose the war. <laughs> And justice will prevail no matter what. 
Hey, yeah, that's right. I like the sound of that. <laughs> we can do this. Yeah. Did you expect him to be this kind of motivational and like charming? I guess in a sense. There's no mistaking it. To it, people. Oh, he's so relieved. Try to see it from his perspective. Kira has been getting information from our headquarters from the very beginning. So there's a good chance that he's one of us. He's risking his life to be here. Yeah. Which he's never ever done. He hates to lose, man. Just one clue, a single decisive factor is all I need. A single piece of evidence is all it would take. It could cost me my life. One thing. Z is so excited about this episode. He can't handle himself. The fiance. The fiance. Ooh, look at that face. Whoever gets to the fiance first, right? Oh my gosh, because if Elle talks to the fiance and gets her account of like what Ray said before yeah. he died. Yeah. Because no one knows what Ray was thinking before he died except the fiance and what their conversation was in private about her thinking. Yeah, it, it was, was somebody like, on the, then it narrows it down to that bus. bus. Oh my gosh. He's going to be trying to kill her because that's the oversight. I haven't missed it. What's he doing? Taking a piece out? Just in case. What if he learns something Maybe while he's I'm there? Bring a page with me every time I go out. Just oh. In case. That same day, four people died of heart attacks in the Shinjuku area, and there was the bus jacking. See, she's not really sure that she has the right idea, but are they gonna meet at the police station? Oh my God, no. I'm so nervous. Don't meet the I'm fiance. So I'm so nervous. <gasps> oh no. As I've told you already, there is no one at Task Force headquarters right now. If you contact them somehow, I have information relating to the Kira investigation. The Kira investigation? Oh shoot. Hi, I'm Detective Suichiro Yagami's son, Light Yagami. Oh gosh. Oh, change of clothes, <gasps> but it doesn't look like he's in. Uh, in here? Sure. She's gonna recognize him because of the name. How does she, how would she know the name? Didn't he say what the name was, or did he not tell her? I don't think her? so. I don't Why think do so. I feel like he told her? But you could be right that he didn't. Sure. If all goes well, maybe I'll find Kira before Elle does. Find him before Elle does. Is this the first she knows about Elle? My father is actually in charge of the Kira investigation. Shoot! If you'd like I could pass your message on to him. His cell phone is off at the moment, but I should be able to contact him soon. Uh feel like I can trust her. You can almost see it in her eyes. Oh, this little... He's so smart, though. She's gonna tell him the information and then he's gonna kill her! She's smart, too. We can't... We can't forget that. You'll have to trust my father and I, which I hope won't be too difficult for you. <laughs> I'll trust you. Look at that fake smile. Why Look at Ryu. So happy. <laughs> she walked right into that. She, she did. She has no. I guess he didn't say light Yagami to her. I guess she didn't know who the person he was investigating is. Um, we've been talking, and I just no. I don't even know your name. Don't tell him. Light Yagami. My name is Shoko Maki. It's written with the characters for Shining, Ko is in Child, Space, and Key is in Tree. Do you think that's her real name? Oh, please. And I believe they enable him to somehow control his victims before they die. So do I. If my analysis so far is correct, Kira can kill in a number of ways, not just with a heart attack. She knows? Who is this woman? Oh. <sighs> this is so like tense. Right. I'm almost positive that someone I know may have met Kira. Oh, I'm sorry, but if a person came in saying they'd met Kira, the police would be more than a little skeptical, to say the least. Probably would, but he's no longer alive. He, he just narrowed it down. Yeah. Oh my gosh. An FBI agent. Oh Ray my Pippa! gosh. Oh! Why'd you stop walking? Nothing. I'm sorry to hear that he passed away. Because eight days after that bus was hijacked, he died along with the other FBI investigators. 
then he dies in an accident, just like that? I mean, really, what are the odds? That's where he tripped up. <gasps> Look at his, his eyes. eyes. She did give him a fake name, I bet. In other words, it suggests that heart attacks aren't the only way Kida can kill people. He has the Death Note page with him. I know, so but... I feel like she did give him a fake name or something. Okay, so the bus jacker didn't die of a heart attack. And based on that, you're saying Kira has other ways of killing people? This is so freaking intense. I know. <sighs> he didn't mention any names or anything like that, but he told me one thing. What did he say? That he'd been put in a situation where he had to show his FBI ID to someone. Oh my gosh. The operation was conducted secretly without the NPA's knowledge. I think... Whoever saw his ID that day is responsible for the deaths of all of the agents. What if she could come in contact with the girl that Light was with? Oh. And now you're convinced that Kira can kill without using a heart attack. There's no doubt in my mind your deductive skills are excellent, but you can't deny that you have a personal interest in the case. Your testimony could be central to the case. Oh my gosh. It'll only be a matter of time before the police catch up with Kira. The person your fiancé showed his ID to on the bus that day, it had to be Kira. That's right. I don't Do think she could die that soon, right? Her she, hair she and feels eyes like blue. She feels like such a big part. I don't think he could kill her literally like right now. I feel like she needs to be in the show more. Light is going to be under the impression that he could just leave and then write her name down to kill her and get rid of her, right? And then her name... To be continued! No! No! Awesome. Oh. I... Okay. Discussion. Back to the discussion. Discussion. <sighs> All right. That was uh, Death Note episode six. I'm so, like, tense. I want to just, like, keep watching the rest of the series as, like, a movie there. That fiancé of the detective, I don't know if her name was real. Shoko I a, Maki. I have a feeling that's a fake name. Me too. Because uh, I just feel like she's such a good character to add into the mix to be another person that, like, can't kill, like L, Like, another person that's against him that he can't necessarily quickly get rid of and needs to find more information about i feel like she's such a good like she's driven by obviously ray's death yeah but her deductive like skills you know like she deduced so much from that i like if she interviewed anyone on that bus yeah. if she got to the girl that he went on a that's date what i'm with, saying she that's what i'm saying whose id it was or who showed who he showed the ID to. She would know. And I'm like, and then giving her blue hair at the end. Oh, with like so good. Light being red, just like the intro with like Ella's blue and he's red. This is the first time I've like felt like a, like such a real threat to Light right in front of him. I don't think that Light's going to lose to her, not yeah. to undermine her, of course, but like this is like a the first like big stepping stone and a hurdle that Light's gonna have to face because if this is not her name, if Shoko Maki is not her name, there's gonna be a big issue for Light. Nothing he said was a lie. He said to her, "Your testimony could get Kira caught." Yeah. Like I think he fully believes. Like he's pro he's probably obviously really impressed, but also really angered by this. He even said like right before this whole interaction, he said that he even one small little mess up on his end could get him caught. And that one small mess up was having what happened happen in such a small group of people as a bus. Yeah. A bus is maybe, well, how many people did they show? Like there was an old couple, he was on a date and there was maybe like, maybe like five other people possibly on the yeah. bus. That's not a lot of people for the FBI and the police to have to interview to figure out who the girl on the date was and ask her, hey, did you see this guy's ID? Like, he he messed up there. Yeah. He sh I guess he should have done I don't it more know. public. Okay. I don't know if I'm willing to say he messed up because even though we know Shoko Maki quotes, uh, 
hope that. has like, has the right idea and she's right and light is saying oh yeah, that makes perfect sense even though that's the case she is gut feeling every single thing in this mm-hmm. case there's not much like maybe that's why she had to stop being an agent yeah she was like way too driven on her emotions and not like fully factual evidence like hardcore evidence you have in your hand kind yeah. of thing what uh when you said the it did ray tell his fiance light's name i had such like a mandela effect moment because for a minute i was like oh yeah that totally happened. i couldn't like, like <laughs> it literally felt so real that he had yeah that i couldn't remember if he had or had not yeah because it felt like a real thing that would have happened especially mm-hmm. like they're a couple you know like obviously he's on it undercover case but i feel like that's not always like super strict when you're in a romantic relationship or like he really yeah. trusts her it makes sense though because you saw how ray reacted when she kind of went down the rabbit hole with her ideas for the case yeah it does make sense i just i really she had to have given a fake name because i think that it is way too compelling why would she to have? have her as a uh, another obstacle Agreed. for light you know that's way too too good of like another element to add to the show and it definitely had to be a fake name i mean like why she was an agent once upon a time she has the intelligence she... does she i don't know if we've heard her speak the she needs to know or uh, kira needs to know a face and a name to kill them i don't know if she knows that completely Mm -hmm. but if she does have that information then i have no doubt in my mind that she would come up with a fake name but if she doesn't she would have no reason to come up with a fake name see i disagree on that because what i was thinking was if you were an undercover agent for years you wouldn't just give your obviously she said that Ray should not have given his name. He was on a yeah. he was on a case. But if that's been your mentality for so many years where you can't really trust anyone, she wasn't going to give her real name to some kid that said it was his dad and like she's going to give her real name to the police. I get you. But I like what, she doesn't probably feel like she owes it to light and or that it will do her any good to give her real name to light. There... As a former agent there, there's no way that uh, Ryuzaki is L's real name, right? No, I'm kind of curious why he he said that he had to change his name just to like protect himself a little okay. more, I guess. But like, why is L too close to his real name? So if he gave out, I'm trying to see how this could benefit uh, L. If he gave out a fake name, and then he like uh, then Light somehow figures out his fake name he would still need to know his face and then that would I, i'm trying to see if like that could benefit him narrowing it down to what or it could help make light think the l isn't involved anymore because whenever he sees the name written or if he hears his dad talk uh... about it it's a different guy and he's gonna spend all of his time searching for ryuzaki yeah and then the only person to go off that the Ooh. only person who then would be searching for l is Shoko Maki because she learned the name L at the police station mm. and was like L and like remarked about it. So I could imagine a situation where maybe Light goes down a different road for this Ryozaki or maybe connects, oh, maybe that's L's real name if it is or isn't. And then Maki tries to find L and they try to like team up or something. Yeah, because I don't think L would suspect someone who's still calling him L because he knows there's a leak. He knows. Yeah. So he knows that as soon as he... He knows that if someone stops going after this L person and starts going after someone named Ryuzaki, the leak is in the room. The yeah. The leak is in the room. And agreed. And so if... Uh, even if Ryuzaki was his real name... Assuming that he has two names, like most people do, you need both names for the yeah. death note, correct? Mm-hmm. So, and so even if one of those police officers was Kira, they could not have killed L, correct? Correct, because no one except possibly Watari knows yeah. L's full name. <sighs> Dude, I loved seeing L. Like it wasn't what I expected it to be, but I loved it 
so much. I loved his like body language and like his like sugar putting into the that, tea or coffee. That he's like so willing to admit that he is very similar to light. Yes. He is not above light in any way. Like he didn't say anything where I'm superior other than I'm going to win. Yeah. It was I, almost like this like he was acknowledging that light is a tough foe and that they have similar thinking. And I love that. It's almost like the game becomes even more fun cuz you're playing with an equal. I feel like sometimes, I mean, obviously he's done tons of investigations that he easily, you know, solved. Mm-hmm. But maybe like he's like getting a kick out of it. He's enjoying this just like Ryuk is, you know. Because it's the first person to really be a challenge for him. Hates losing. And he hates losing. I love seeing uh, L like look in himself to try to solve the case. I think that that's such a cool like character trait for a character like for a character to have. As well as I like how Light when he is putting up a front or quote unquote lying, everything that he's saying is completely based in reality, which mm-hmm. is like people say that's how good you liar. tell good lies, right? He's a good liar. Um you like bait you go off of something. So it's so interesting. Gosh. The only way that they could trip each other up right now, which I don't know if they've necessarily figured out or if Light hasn't figured out, because obviously L has acknowledged that they think similarly. And Light has just basically said he thinks he can, like, get a step ahead. Mm -hmm. Is once one of them starts to act in a way that is totally unlike how they think, then things could get foggier. Yeah. Do you think, uh, do you think that Light's dad is going to share the information with his family that he met with Ryozaki? I have a feeling, well, they did say that the FBI investigation was, like, super, super under wraps. But it just would feel really weird to me that Elle wouldn't know or wouldn't tell the new police force who was actually being investigated during those days. But then again... They have that information, right? Do they know or is it just Elle and the FBI that knew who was actually getting investigated? Because it was the people's family members, you know? So yeah. maybe they wouldn't want to tell them, hey, yeah, your son was one of the people being investigated during those couple days. Because I feel like Light's dad would be super... Either he's going to be super protective, like how dare you even suggest it could be my son, or he's going to start getting really suspicious. I could see both. I could see him like being Doing defensive, both. but then like putting out feelers when at home. Yeah. Uh, but it didn't seem like they gave each other or talked about that information because it didn't really seem like any of them reacted much to the time that L narrowed down other than, wow, you narrowed down that time. Yeah. But none of them reacted in like, if Light's dad knew at the time that Light was investigated during that time, it would have shown a shot of him being like, or like an inner thoughts of, oh, Light was investigated during that time, mm-hmm. you know? But they didn't really give us that. Mm-hmm. I really thought and I was feeling like his dad was going to think something or there was going to be some suspicion already shown. And maybe there was a hint of it and I didn't catch the hint, but... You know how they said, uh, or L offered up the situation, or rather... We get the U.S. to say that they're supplying these troops and sixteen or twelve thousand or whatever people 15. or fifteen thousand people are going to be investigating. No, Won't would that would that excuse me fifteen hundred would that mean that the U.S. government has to comply with this because they pulled out last episode? So if they like, if L and the police force went mm. forward with this story, then would the U.S. come out publicly and be like, this isn't true or? I feel like they would, to do this, they would need to contact them and be like this. Agreed. But then again, then there's a trail of the plan. So maybe they're going to keep the broadcasts to only in Japan that they do it. So that if it does come to the U.S.'s attention, they'll contact the police straight and they won't come out with a public statement first. I'm I'm sure they wouldn't just immediately come out with something without... Being like, hey, why'd you guys do this? Yeah. We're checking with you first if this is like a plan of yours. But they're obviously just going to broadcast it like in Kanto or something. Because they already have narrowed him down to being like around that area. Yeah. How many people are in that region that they have to be wary of? I'm not sure. Do you 
what do you think of the possibility like do you think l's considered oh what if lights fled like after that happened and it's just still like using his resources to kill people in the area but like went somewhere else I don't know. Elle's probably considered everything. This I man mean, Elle is... thinks that Light's working alone, and I feel like if Light lived somewhere else, he'd have to be using someone else as a middleman to get all the news and all the um, names and everything. If they're only being broadcast like in yeah. a small vicinity. <sighs> I wonder what the next step's going to be for uh, Elle and the team. And the fiancé, Maki... <sighs> I, fake I don't... name lady <laughs> <laughs> i i hope because i i really like her as a character i would like her to stick around i just think she's a great addition to because she is utilized in this show as showing us more of light's mental capabilities yeah. you know and so i think that she is an awesome addition to keep showing us just how like smart light is or just how much he's thinking a step ahead of people and how he's also so able to lie with so much truth and be so convincing about it like i'm so caught up in lights like i guess like uh, agenda here and like his story that i'm trying even though it's not morally right i'm like l trying to look out for him too he stopped walking when he heard uh shoko maki like mm -hmm. announce what she did and like reveal to him that and i was like what are you doing what are you don't doing don't do that that's yeah. suspicious <laughs> yeah keep walking you're like that was i think one of the first times we we've seen him well that was one of the first times we've seen him like physically lie like being this tense and lying to somebody other than his family like in the show like in yeah. person you know definitely oh the gosh. first time it was ever he was ever really felt like someone was catching up to him yeah like this was probably the first time like l like made him feel some forms of anger i wouldn't say anxiety but some form of like oh someone's on my tail i gotta keep running mm -hmm. but like i think this was the first time he ever was like one wrong step right in this moment and she knows it's me like yeah. kind of thing so or like if i doubt he's thought about if she gave him a fake name yeah i don't think so i think light he's incredibly smart and intelligent but he's also a little bit cocky or confident or, yeah he backs everything up so i guess he's not he, too cocky he obviously so i would say he's definitely cocky in his ability to lie and make people like him because he's already said to ryuk that he is a person that many people at school like mm -hmm. and he has a lot of friends and he showed that by easily just calling up a girl and being like hey we're going on a date today and she's like woo okay ryuk you know? was like who is this guy smiling <laughs> like I, I love ryuk so like i feel like to him he feel probably feels like he put on a very convincing show yeah definitely what do you think about one last thing? I'm this is a very long discussion. We're just like so into this. What do you think about L's theory that if they shoot, I don't even know how to say this. You know how he said that Light or Kira would start attacking petty crimin criminals yeah. once they got rid of the names of the bigger. I was like feeling like he was going to say that and then I was like but but what would he do that? Would he actually I think so. Yeah. Ends justify the means, right? He's still getting rid of people that have done bad things. And he's still playing the game against Elle and the police at that point. Yeah. Like, I, I think he totally would. And, you know, he did say, Elle did say, well, he's proven that he'll kill innocent people because he killed innocent until proven guilty yeah. people. But, like, I feel like to light, those people are still criminals. I don't know if he thought of them as innocent but agreed might have committed a crime I mean, he killed somebody who he thought was in some sort of vein like a policeman or a, some higher up who has you know like l when he killed uh this lindell taylor lindell taylor he, uh yeah. he he is definitely willing to kill somebody who's not even a criminal for his sake of justice he mm -hmm. would definitely kill petty criminals yeah but my thought was those are people in his way so Maybe he would kill someone that's not in his way that's a petty criminal. But, like, I guess at the moment, my feelers for him, for who he is, like, willing to kill, is more just, like, people in his way mm -hmm. that could get him caught or people that 
he thinks deserve to die. And I don't know if he would necessarily say that a criminal or a supposed one that hasn't actually been proven to have actually done anything wrong deserves to die. But mm. he did use them for experiments, which is really messed up because he could have basically used people that were just your run-of-the-mill normal person accused of a crime but didn't actually do it as an experiment. And that's really messed up. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh I just love that they're both like trying to figure out what the other person is thinking by using themselves as an example. Yeah. In uh, another life, they could be friends. You know, if their <laughs> idea of justice was the same, they'd be an unstoppable team. I really like the character designs for Light and L. Like, like of course individually, but they go really well together to like intellectually like the battle that they're having i think the voice actors do a really good job both too you can see so many similarity uh, similarities in both of them and on every single level whether it's voice acting whether it's character design whether it's you know and i really appreciate it because it it's it is more tense to build that harsh contrast when it comes down to the like specificities and details of their differences you know and there's also contrast in who would you think is the evil do doer by looking at them or reading their biography or something. Or body language. I think it's very... Body language. I think if you put Light and L right next to each other in a room and ask somebody to say, who's the evil one? Who's when you Kira? Have, well, yeah, when you have two. When you have Light smiling at the camera. And just looking like a normal straight honor a student, student looking And then guy. you see L who's like curled up in a ball drinking sugar-filled coffee or tea yeah like, but we've seen way too many like serial killer things to know that it's it's the person smiling and that doesn't yeah. appear to be the killer that's that's the person to worry about it's the person you most medium suspect <laughs> yeah the most medium sus like yeah i totally agree with you man okay i love the show all right <laughs> uh thank you guys so much for watching this video please like comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time